for your question. So, first of all, a, a really very good meeting. And uh, this historic one, and for us it's very important that the, the first prime minister from your very big country, and uh, during all our history, all our independent history, so it's during last 33 years, almost 33, because tomorrow it will be the 33rd independent day. So this is a historic moment for our nations. It's not about me or Prime Minister Modi, it's not about personalities. That's why I, I think that it's more important that both of us. It's about both our nations. And that's why I think it's historic a moment and they, I'm very thankful to Prime Minister for coming. The second one, so yes, it's a good beginning with uh, some practical steps with the uh, first four documents between our countries and I think it's just beginning and uh, I think we will we'll, we'll continue of course uh, we'll continue and we decided that we can have on the level of governments we'll have meetings very very productive and concrete I like very concrete steps uh, to that we, we have to have something very concrete and it's much more uh, influential than any words. Yes, so uh, that's why these four documents is the first step. The, our common declaration this is also important. The messages are important which are there, but it's a political issue. But we are very happy we can uh, provide agricultural products and uh, if we can have connection on it. Uh, it's, it's all about food security for both our nations and uh, for other nations. So it's not only about grain or wheat, and uh, it's about a lot of different things. Corn, it's about uh, also transit by the sea. It's not only food security, it's, you know, it's about metallurgy and etc. A lot, a lot of different things. And uh, now, you know, in the, in the century of high technologies and be very open during the war, we increased the level of our private companies, especially this kind of high technology and drones, sea drones, security, cyber security, and etc. And I said to Prime Minister, we'll be very ready to share with you these products and we'll be happy if it can be co-production and etc and and of course that we decided that our teams will begin to work on different issues uh, on it so that's uh, I think I think during the war this role is also very important because we need to strengthen our economy really and if we can have something very a detail and some concrete things uh, and contracts, I think it will help. Of course, we need win-win between our nations anyway, but during the war it can help. More production, more contracts, it's, it's very good for us. It's more jobs and, and also for you, I, I mean, this is, again, win-win. So <clears throat> this is the first. Then uh, uh, about uh, role. If we are speaking about global role, because you have global influence, very big country, very big population, and uh, that's why, and very big uh, influence on Russian economy. Today you have it, and it's true, because really a lot of export possibilities for Russia closed. Uh, but India is open. We spoke about it with Prime Minister. Of course, it helps today for Russian army. And I think that uh, government of, uh, of India, uh, of course, understand it, understands it. And of course, we, we will be happy to work how to find alternatives. 
because it's not about, again, you are a very big country, it's not about millions, it's about billions which are coming back, which Putin has back to Russia, and then he, he uses it only, you know, because he has now really, officially, he has now war economy. War economy, it means that the priority is war, not peace. Not only for his soldiers, it means that priority for his economy is war. And of course, if billions will come, and, and, and they are coming from any market, from India, Arabic countries, China, I mean, of course, it helps him very much. So he has to feel how war is expensive, and his society has to feel, because he, he will not feel. Even he, if he will not get billions, he will not feel, because he's stolen all, all, all these billions from this, his people. His people are poor people, so he's stolen it during 30 years. That's why he will not feel it. But if his society will feel, they will push him to the peace. It's also very important, because his society, they don't understand what's going on. Or understand and support him, because of the media influence in their country. Because Putin controls all the media, totally, 100%. And social media, not only public, commercial, everything. That's uh, the role of India if you will stop uh, import the oil, he will have, Putin will have huge challenges, huge challenges. Uh, the sword, I think it's a peace way, or way to peace, yeah? So, my, uh, I think I, uh, we, we spoke about it with Prime Minister. So, of course, we want him very much to have in this summit. And, of course, we'll be happy to work on it. And, of course, he, if he has his ideas or his team ideas, uh, we'll be happy to speak about it. But we don't change our territories on any, any propositions. So we don't change our people to any propositions and our territories and our values and our freedom and democracy. We will not change it. So it's absolutely understanding points. All other things, we can speak, we can decide, we can, you know, find any. But, but, but I spoke very openly with Prime Minister. You know, Prime Minister Modi wants peace more than Putin. <laughs> this is the problem. You understand? So the problem that Putin doesn't want. I don't know what about they spoke, I mean, all the details with Putin when they had meeting and etc. But I, you know, this, I, I said to Prime Minister, you, you know, with whom you have a deal. I mean, that you speak with him. He is speaking to you how he wants peace, but at this moment exactly he is attacking hospital. Did he do anything good for us? No, he is a killer for us. But did he do something good for you, for India? If during official visit of Prime Minister you attack the children in the hospital. It's a very important moment. So he had to recognize after that that he doesn't respect India or doesn't control his army. And he will tell you that Putin controls everything. So he can't say that he doesn't control his army. So it means that he doesn't respect Indian Prime Minister. Otherwise, what, otherwise why he did it? So for me, he's very clear. He's not so... He's not so smart as his uh, Russian TV shows his people each day. 
Okay. I'm sorry. No. Yeah, but in Ukraine, it could be shorter. <laughs>